Hello, my name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. Today we're going to look at a new feature in Move 3.6, Support for Migrations to Nutanix Clusters. Nutanix Clusters is the same Nutanix software you run on your on-prem Nutanix cluster, however it will run in a public cloud like AWS as shown here. To get started, Move will need to be set up on your target cluster, which in this case is Nutanix Clusters. You can set up Move with the Move CLI for your OS, or you will need to download the image and then upload it to the image settings inside of your Nutanix clusters. Once the image is ready, you can create the VM with the settings in the user guide. Once the VM is set up and powered on, you can log in via the IP address of the Move appliance. You can get the IP from the prison element of your Nutanix clusters. Once you browse that IP address, you will need to set a new admin password. You will then log in with that new password. Once you log in, you will get a continue screen that lets you know that Nutanix Move now supports migrations from ESXi, AWS, and Hyper-V to Nutanix clusters. Now that we are logged in, let's set up our environments. We are going to start with our ESXi environment. You will need the vSphere IP address or the FQDN and a username that has administrative privileges in the ESXi environment. Next, we are going to set up our Nutanix clusters environment. You will need the cluster virtual IP address and a user that has admin rights to the Nutanix cluster. Now let's create a migration plan. We will start by naming the migration plan, then choose our source and target environments, which will be our ESXi and clusters environment respectively. Then choose the VMs you want to migrate. We are gonna do a single VM migration today, but you can choose multiple VMs if you would like. Then we will set a target network. You can also set up a test network. This will allow you to test the migration without making any changes to the source VM. The test network on your target cluster should not be routable to your production network. Click next when done. From here, you can choose automatic or manual migration. If you choose manual, Move will produce scripts you can run on your source VM to set up the VM for migration. We are going to choose automatic and let Move do the preparation of the VM. Whether you choose automatic or manual, the process will install Nutanix guest tools, remember the server's IP if it is using a static IP. You also have the option of retaining the MAC address and doing a data-only migration. And you can also schedule the data seeding to happen at a later time. Click Next, then Save and Start. If you do not choose to schedule the data seeding for a later time, it will start copying over the data. If you'd like to see the progress, go ahead and click on the migration plan, and then you can see the statuses of the VMs in the migration plan. In Move 3.6, the progress screen of the migration plan has been given categories, so you can see what the statuses of the migrations are. Whether they are still doing data seeding, ready for cutover, or had any test VMs created. You can also see any failed or completed jobs. We will come back when the data seeding is done. If you hover over In Progress under the status and it shows Ready to Cutover, the data seeding on the target cluster is ready for testing or cutover. Click on In Progress to show the cutover screen. Here you can choose to test the VM. However, we are going to choose Cutover. When you choose Cutover, you will get a breakdown of what is going to happen on the source VM before choosing to continue. The VM will be powered off and Move will do the final data sync. This process should be completed quickly as Move syncs data with the source cluster every 10 minutes. If you hover over the information icon, you can see the process that Move is doing. This process took about 1 minute and 30 seconds from when we chose cut over and continue to the VM was powered on and ready to use. The time it takes for the final data sync will be dependent on your WAN connection to clusters. Once you see View Target VM, you can click on that to take you to the prism element of your target cluster. We will now log into our target cluster. From the dashboard, you can see that this is the Nutanix clusters in AWS. Let's head to the VM section and check the migrated Windows 2012 server. It is online with an IP address and boots successfully. So this migration to Nutanix clusters was successful. Let's check the VM in the vSphere console. You can see the VM is powered off. A note has been added that it was migrated by move and on what date. The network interface has been disconnected from the VM. So if somebody missed the note that it was migrated and still powered it on, this should not cause any problems with your production network. To finish up, all you need to do is delete the migration plan in the move console and you are done. If you have used Move to migrate VMs to AHV before, you can see that there are no changes in the functionality with Nutanix clusters. You can use Move to migrate VMs from any ESXi, Hyper-V, and AWS environment that your Nutanix cluster environment has connectivity to. Thank you for watching.